Okay, good morning everyone. So, welcome back to the second day of week 2 and this is the first session and uh, the first session is specifically for class 7 and 8 uh, as I am going to deal with the application of writing process. So, yesterday I did the application of writing process for class 5 and 6 but then I just want to tell you that uh, there are few students who keep asking questions like which class. So, Gedin Sargela yesterday actually made it very clear to you that whatever we are teaching during this online uh, sessions, on, so we actually try to group uh, the classes for either class 5 and 6 or maybe 7 and 8 and some classes for the whole group. But then it doesn't mean that the session which is specifically for class 7 and 8 uh, students of class 5 and 6 cannot learn from that, right? So, my request okay, on behalf of all the members of the committee is to try to grab as much as you can from all the lessons that is, uh, all the sessions that is being taken, okay? Because you can take a lot of things, I feel, and uh, it's not that something that is for class 5 and 6, 7 and 8 students cannot learn because we are not dealing with a sort of textbook syllabus, right? We are actually taking the like uh, classes based on the learning standards, okay? The standards that are expected from the students of class 5 to 8, okay? So, this session actually specifically aimed for class 7 and 8, but then 5 and 6 students can also watch this, okay? Uh, so, the writing process application, uh, okay, so let me just quickly uh, help you review uh, the writing process that Gedin Stargila took in the last session yesterday and uh, before I go on with the application part, it's very important that you quickly review what are the process, okay. So, pre-writing that is getting ready to write, collecting ideas, writing and Drafting, that is putting your ideas on paper, that is the first draft. Then revising in order to make changes to improve your writing. Then we have editing and proofreading, that is looking for and fixing errors. And finally, we have the rewriting and publishing part, where you rewrite whatever portion you have edited and proofread, and then you are going to publish, that is share with your friends, either in the form of uh, reading or writing. So, that is what you learned yesterday. And two questions to keep in mind as I discussed in my uh, session yesterday as well. Why am I writing this? So, whenever you are doing some sort of writing, the first question that should come in your mind is, why am I writing this? Okay. Sometimes, it's because your teacher has told you to write this. So, this is a sort of assignment even if the reason is that. So, you still have to think, okay, yes, this is a part of my assignment and I'm writing this. Other than that, sometimes you feel like writing something, okay? Not because your teacher had told you to, has told you to write something, but out of your own will, you feel like writing. Today, I need to write something. I feel like writing. So, I want our students to have this sort of feeling. Sometimes when the weather is uh, like, it happens with me as well based on whether like my mood changes. So, I feel like writing some sort of poetry pieces. So, sometimes you have some sort of uh, incident you, that happened with you or maybe some, something happened where you have a strong feelings that you want to express. So, at that point of time, you also feel like writing, putting down or you're penning down your feelings on your paper. So, whatever you are writing, so the first thing that you need to keep in mind is the why am I writing this? So, one reason could be as plain as your teacher told you to write that, okay? And the other could be I feel like writing, right? I want to express my emotions. I want to express my feelings. That, that can be other reason, right? So, whatever reason you are writing, please, you have to keep that in mind, right? And the next question is who am I writing this for? Right? Sometimes you may be writing this for yourself, okay? If, say, suppose you are writing in, a, in your secret diary, you want to share some secret, 
whom you don't want to, the secret that you don't want to share with others. Okay, you want to keep it secret and you want to share something. So uh, you share it in your diary. So you are writing this for yourself because you are expressing whatever you feel right in your diary and you want to read it to yourself you want to keep it for yourself right that can be one reason the other reason is when you want to uh, share the piece of writing with your teacher or maybe your classmates or friends so that uh, those are your readers okay so who is going to read your piece of writing okay so they are the audience so what you need to remember is a sense of audience and purpose is important, okay? That will let you stay in focus because as long as you have your audience in mind, as long as you have the purpose in your mind, you will remain focused. So that is very important, okay? So the slides I'm going to show, okay, is in a way same to what I uh, like did for class five and six, because writing process is almost same, right? So the strategies, you may change, but then the process you have to follow in the same way. But then why we are doing it again is to help you get more practice. And then what we are going to do is, the level is a kind of little different, okay? So based on the level we have categorized this uh, application of writing process into two sessions, clear? So those students of class five and six who had already watched my session yesterday, they can also watch, it will be a sort of review for what you have learned yesterday, clear? So what we are going to do now, okay? So we will, because the session is for the application of writing process. So what we are going to do is we will follow the writing process, okay? So the first process or the step in the writing process is pre-writing, right? And for that, what we need to do is we need to choose a topic because in order to write something, what do you need first, okay? You need something, right? So you need to choose a topic, okay? So how, how are we going to choose that topic? So we need to figure out, okay? Mm, okay. Let's look at the board, okay? And I request you all to, uh, I, though I know you are all ready with your paper or notebook and pen, so I want you also to try on your own, okay? Because the topics that are coming in my mind, I'm going to write over here. And meanwhile, you watch me, you can also think of topics that comes to your mind and you keep writing. So we will do the things, okay? We will practice the application of writing process together in a way, clear. So the topic, okay, I need to think of topic ideas. Uh, what shall I write about? And <clears throat> see, for me, since I am taking class for students of class seven and eight, right? So I will keep in mind the level of the students of class seven and eight, clear? So based on that, I'm going to think of topics. So what topic could be suitable for students of class seven and eight? And then I'm also thinking of what topic might interest the readers or those sitting in front of your tablet or mobile phone or computer, okay? Uh, okay, let's talk about, okay, what is happening presently? Online teaching, okay. Okay, online teaching, what else can we think of? Uh, class seven and eight students, I assume you are almost all uh, teenagers, right? Mm, so teenagers have their own issues. So maybe being a teenager, uh, what else? Mm, okay, why we are doing relying on online teaching because of yes so the outbreak of covid 19 so i can think of okay how has the outbreak of
COVID-19 affected our lifestyle. Uh, what else? Mm. Okay. Mobile games. Mm, okay, so we'll not uh, take a lot of time for thinking on topic ideas because right now whatever we are doing is within a time frame. Okay, so when you do your own writing, you have the time. Okay, unless you are sitting for an exam. Okay, you have your time, so you can think of as many topics as possible. So meanwhile, here right now, what we, I'm going to do is I'm going to choose from this four topics, online teaching, being a teenager, how has the outbreak of COVID-19 affected our lifestyle, mobile games. Then what I need to do is like uh, you also might have some sort of topics on your paper or in, in your book. So what you need to do is you have a choice, right? So now it's your uh, responsibility to decide in a way. Now you have certain topics. So which one to choose? So it happens in exam as well when you are given a choice. So what happens is when you make the wrong choice, you end up uh, like writing answers for which you are also not satisfied. So what you do is, okay, which question, okay, I know better for which I can uh, like express stronger points, isn't it? So in the same way for writing also, you need to decide which topic will give you more ideas, more points, and which topic will appeal to the readers, okay? Which topic the readers would be interested, okay? So based on that, today I think let's choose um, being a teenager, okay. Yes, all teenagers would be really interested, and then, so I think at present, looking at the current situation, this topic is something everyone knows about, right? Because everyone is affected. So whether you are an adult or a teenager or an, like uh, a grown up and all. So everyone knows about this and I think everyone would be interested, isn't it? You, you have a lot of things to express. So let's choose this topic here. Yeah. Okay, so what next? Now that we have the topic, how has the outbreak of COVID-19 affected our lifestyle? Okay, so look at the slide. Now that we have the topic, let's begin. So what should we begin with? If you remember, shall I, do we have to immediately start writing? Of course not. We will do pre-writing. Okay, we will have to follow pre-writing and strategies. So what are the strategies for pre-writing? So in my third uh, session yesterday, I discussed uh, some of the strategies. Okay, So strategies for pre-writing, you have listing, brainstorming, then you have clustering. So I applied the strategy of clustering for the students of class five and six yesterday. Then you have free writing, looping, where you loop one idea to other in a way and asking the five WH questions, who, what, where, when, why, and how. Okay, so today, keeping the topic in mind, okay, the topic is how has the outbreak of COVID-19 affected our lifestyle? So sometimes the strategy that you are going to adopt in a way, uh, like in a way, depends on the topic itself. Okay, so, which strategy would be most suitable for writing a piece of composition on such topic? Okay, so I feel brainstorming would be helpful, okay? So when you start brainstorming and then uh, listing, okay? So we are going to choose, okay, look at the slide. Okay, out of the strategies, what I'm going to choose today is listing, okay? And which is brain storming and okay since you are students of class 7 and 8 so not just following the strategy for pre-writing I'm also going to integrate higher order thinking skill okay which is hot so you have I think you all have heard about 
hertz. Have you heard about this? In exam also, a few questions are based on higher order thinking skill. H-O-T-S, HOTS, higher order thinking skills. Okay, so there are so many strategies okay, which in a way test or develops students this part of this skill. So today, which uh, like high order thinking skill strategy I'm going to adopt is a Y chart, look at the slide. Okay, this is called Y chart, okay. As you can clearly see, as a, on a piece of chart or paper, you have a big Y, and this is called Y chart. And the first portion, okay, so what do you think this denotes? The I, okay? And I is used for seeing things, isn't it? So this is something like what you can see, okay? Or how that topic looks like, or whatever the like uh, the topic for discussion is, okay? And then you have, what does this suggest? What do you hear, right? And the hand, this tells about how you feel. So based on that, the topic we have chosen today is how has the outbreak of COVID-19 affected our lifestyle? So how does, so if we just, uh, to, uh, talk about outbreak of COVID-19, right? So how, what does the co outbreak of COVID-19 look like? Okay, looks like, uh, sounds like. So on the left side where you see the, the uh, drawing of ear, sounds like, and the hand suggests feels like. Okay, so based on this, you have to list down. Okay, listing. So you have to brainstorm and then keep listing. Okay, uh, let's do it here. Okay, I'm going to wrap this. And I want you to draw a big Y in your notebook. Okay, draw a big Y like I sh like just showed you in the uh, slide. Mm, let me have a big Y too. Okay, this is called Y chart, okay? So this is, okay, how a COVID-19 outbreak looks like, okay? Uh, then you have, okay, sounds like, okay, I'm not very good at, okay, feels like. So looks like, Sounds like, feels like. So based on that, what you need to do is we need to list down all the possibilities, okay? So where shall we start from? Okay, we'll start from here, okay? Looks like. So I need to have a space here. So you can keep suggesting and I'll assume that I hear you, okay? So the first thing, like COVID-19 outbreak that I can visualize is, mm, Are you able to see this? People wearing masks. Okay, people wearing masks. Don't you think you, we see this, right? And we can also see um, schools and colleges closed, isn't it? Schools and colleges closed. Uh, what else? Social distan distancing. What? Being followed or being broken, right? We can see people following social distancing norm as well as killing it, right? Breaking the rule of social distancing. Social distancing, though it should be followed, right? Being followed or what? Not followed, right? Or broken. The norms broken, isn't it? Uh, what else? 
So what you can do is, when you think about what this COVID-19 outbreak looks like, means in such situation, what are the things that you can see? Okay, so when you feel like, oh, you no longer can think about this, you can sw uh, immediately switch to how it feels like or sounds like, okay? And then you get, when you think about idea related to this, you can then come back here and then start writing. Is it clear? We can do that. So right now I'll just write about, hmm, we hear, I think for the first time we are hearing such words like quarantine, lockdown, isn't it? For me, I think throughout my life, I have never heard about the word quarantine. Okay, so only during, when the, only when the lockdown began, I heard about such words. So words like, words like quarantine, lockdown, what else can we hear? Social distancing. Because these were not a normal word that we use on a daily basis, right? So these are the things that we hear. What else we hear? News of what positive cases, isn't it? Positive cases rising. Uh, what else we can hear? Mm, okay, then let's write somewhere from here, how it feels like. COVID-19 outbreak, that the situation, you have fear or not? I think the first feeling you have is fear. Okay, and that fear can be related to anything in a way. Fear of getting infected, that can be one, right? Fear of, so this is how you feel, fear of getting infected. Do you think this is helping you think of as many points or ideas as possible? Okay, because you think not in just one line, because you are thinking in three ways. Okay, how it looks like, how it sounds like, how it feels like. Okay, so this is in a way very helpful. Fear of getting infected. Uh, for students, what is your utmost fear at present? Okay. Um, teachers and students, a school uh, association, and all the people related to education, they are worried about children education, right? So if there's any negative fear of negative impact on education or studies, okay? This is something you hear, sorry, feel. And what else do you feel? Mm, anxiety, some people even like those who are in lockdown for a long time with no one with them, they, like we hear cases of people uh, getting into depression, isn't it? So anxiety is there, worry is there. And then we also hear about, oh, it's like, okay, mm, we'll come here. Look, what we can see is we can see online teaching, isn't it? online teaching through Google Classroom, Google Meet. So we have all virtual, virtual learning taking place, isn't it? All because of this situation. Then what else we can feel? Mm, okay, news of positive cases. What else can we hear? Okay, so we'll not waste a lot of time here. Okay, you can keep thinking and then you keep adding. Okay, so right now for the first draft, we are going to take the points that are here and meanwhile we are making our first draft some more idea might come up okay we can use that so okay so this is one strategy okay hot strategy higher order thinking skill you can adopt this not just for writing a composition the same uh, strategy is very helpful for other subjects as well science maths social science and all other language classes as well so you can use that clear then, now what we need to do is, okay, now, now let's write our first draft, okay. So we are going to write our first draft. Okay, we are going to do, make our first draft based on 
the information we have here. So what I would suggest is next time, okay, whenever you are going to write something, so you follow the pre-writing strategies, okay? And based on that, you have certain points or ideas in your mind that you write on a piece of paper or in your notebook. So when you make the first draft, make sure that you have that paper with you so that you can just refer to that paper on which you have jotted down everything that came to your mind when you were doing your pre-writing. That is the planning stage. So am I making sense? Good. So let's begin. And yes, for the first draft, when you do the first draft, you need not worry about your grammatical errors. You need not worry about sentence structure, okay, punctuation, spelling. Keep writing whatever comes to your mind, looking at the points here. Because after first draft, what you are going to do is you will revise, okay. And this is my a suggestion to students because many students what they do they when they are told to write something they just write it down and then they submit okay they don't read it again they don't look for editing where they have made some mistake they don't do it so that is very important okay <coughs> okay so okay. What's our topic? Yes, so the topic is for our first draft, how has COVID-19 affected, outbreak of COVID-19 affected? Quite a long topic, right? Usually when you write, so okay, first write, I'll just write it down. How is the outbreak of COVID-19? affected our lifestyle, okay. changes okay and yes we forgot one thing uh, we can also see hand sanitizers right everywhere in a way hand sanitizers okay Mm, people wearing masks. and colleges are closed. about getting infected negative impact on children's education are worried about, worried about 
Uh, schools and colleges are closed and online teaching is going on. People are worried about getting infected, negative impact on children's education. People are worried about many people develop anxiety. Mm. Can lead to depression. Words like quarantine, lockdown, and social distancing. Is heard often. Mm. Also affected badly. Mm. Okay, news of positive cases. Every day we have new cases of people getting infected. Mm. Okay. Education. Okay, yes, we also miss something. We hear words like green zone, orange zone. Have you heard of such words? Green zone, orange zone, red zone. Right, so we hear about such words as well. Mm. Or green zone. So, okay. So, though we can add on, st still add on more points, but then we don't have that much time. So, I'm just quickly going to wind up, right? Uh, okay, I am in green, orange zone, or red zone. Everybody. Oh. Once the situation to become normal soon. Okay, so if I just stop it here, okay. So what we need to do is now we have the first draft. Okay, it's not complete. Your piece of writing is not complete. We have the first draft here. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to Revise, because this is the step for writing process. Okay, now that our first draft is ready, we need to revise the same. So how are we going to revise this? So we have revising idea. I will quickly show you the slide that was already shown yesterday. Revising idea. Okay, read to yourself first, which I'm going to do. Okay, share with a classmate or friend. And then we have the revising checklist. Okay, what are the things that we need to look for when we are revising? Did we really tell what we wanted to? Okay, will our audience understand? That is your, the readers. Do we need to add, cut, or change something to improve our writing? Have we arranged our ideas and points in proper order? Okay, clear. So these are the revising checklists and we are going to follow that. Okay, so... This is the first draft. So what we are going to do now is revising. 
ever since the outbreak, so first thing we are going to look at is the topic, how has the outbreak of COVID-19 affected our lifestyle, okay? Okay, so do you think we need to put a question mark here? Okay. Mm, then ever since the outbreak of COVID-19, so many changes have occurred. We can see people wearing masks. Mm. Okay, so the first sentence, okay, usually what we know is that when you do a piece of writing, okay, so your first sentence becomes very important, okay. That will tell you, the, tell the readers what you are going to write about. So it has to be, it had, sorry, has to have connection with the topic. So we can think of making a little change for this, okay. Uh, we can see people wearing masks, using hand sanitizers, which were not normal thing earlier. Oh, right. So I think there's something wrong here, okay. Which, uh, we can see people wearing masks, using hand sanitizers, which were not a normal thing earlier. So here the problem is with the subject verb agreement. Okay, so we need to fix this out. Okay, schools and colleges are closed and online teaching is going on. People are worried about getting infected. Mm, negative impact on edu children's education, people are worried about. So we need to restructure, reframe this sentence. Okay, uh, many people develop anxiety. Oh. So, like, so when you write the first draft quickly in a way, whatever comes to your mind, okay. So, here, a period is not required, okay. Many people develop anxiety and then something is missing here. I can add that, okay, during the editing part. Uh, can lead to depression. Words like quarantine, lockdown and social distancing is hurt often. Okay, so there's a punctuation mark missing. Uh, business was also affected badly. Okay, we need to think about changing this. Every day we hear new cases of people getting infected. Many people are seen to discuss. Okay, we need to reframe this as well. About whether their area fall again here in red zone, orange zone or green zone. Everybody wants the situation to become normal. So. Seems like it's complete, but it's not complete, okay? So my request to you is, because since I'm doing it only for a certain period of time, I want you to uh, continue, okay, doing that. So keeping that in mind. Mm. So what I'm going to do is, the remaining part of this uh, session, okay, I'm going to cover or complete in the last session. Okay, when we have the recap and revision, uh, review of the things that are already taught. So I'm going to take a few minutes from that session to complete this part. Okay, so uh, when the third, uh, for the fourth session, I want you to be ready with that. And maybe when we meet again, I feel like, or so I hope, so you have a lot of points already added from your side. Is it clear? Okay, so we will continue with this. Uh, the drafting part is complete up to here, okay? Uh, revising is also in a way complete. Now what we are left with is, we, all, we almost know now there's a certain like areas where we need to edit, we need to add something, we need to change something, clear? So we are going to do that in the last session today, clear? Okay, so thank you. So meanwhile, the, for the next session, Kedin Thagila will discuss with you on paragraph writing.